<coughs> oh, that's a beautiful fire right there. There's nothing better than sitting in front of a fire and relaxing and watching that fire crackle and looking at the beautiful colors. It's just awesome. Sometimes I uh, want to have a fire, but the weather just doesn't permit, especially here in Florida, the times of the year to have an outside fire are few and far between because it only gets cold for a couple of days at a time for a couple of weeks. Right, Mike? It doesn't get that cold in Florida too often, does no, it? Yeah, like three or four weeks the most. I can upload this with some music and a million people will watch it just to listen to some music and have a fire. I think these days a lot of people just want to have something to play in the background on TV without too much noise. Nice evening by the fire. You could fall asleep to this in the bedroom. I don't know. I would love a house with a fireplace in the room. Yeah. Here's what I was thinking. <clears throat> I was thinking perhaps move your dresser over to the side where the TV is. Put it over there by the door. So that the door just opens, you know. And uh, the dresser's there with the mirror. And then where your dresser is now, put two nice, tall, thin bookshelves, kind of, that can have, you know, a piece of, you know, maybe like eight inches. So you can, so I can even use it as shelving for clothes or whatever. And then at the foot of the bed, on the other side of the footboard, a set of drawers or thin bookshelf that the TV can set on top that clears the top of the bookshelf and boom, faces faces us. Hi. That would totally optimize all of our space and make it easier to walk around the bed. No, because there's something going to be at the foot of the bed. Thin, though. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Have you ever made a bed? Yeah. Right. So, how am I supposed to push in my comforter and, you know, fix the bottom of the bed if there's something there? You get on the bed and push from the other side. No, no, no. You got me fucked up. I can't. I I can't. I used to make his bed until he wanted to move it against the wall. I said, nope, I don't like making a bed against the wall. It's too much of a pain in the ass. Well, then I'll do it. I said, you're going to do it every time. You're not going to ask for me? And he's like, nope. Okay, move your bed wherever the fuck you want. And he hasn't, he stuck to that. He, he has not asked me to uh, help him with his bed. That's just a pain in the ass. Yeah. And so would sitting on my bed trying to make it, that which is what a lot of what you have to do if your bed's in the fucking corner against the wall. I would have like, well, not Hayden's little bed. I could just lean forward. But if I had my bed against the, like that, it, it, yeah, you have to get on the bed to just fix it. God damn, I'm itchy. Well, if you're itchy, maybe we could um, get sponsored by Off the Bug Spray. Look at the flames that are different colors. They're shooting different colors. Yeah, I know. It's pretty cool. I guess different types of materials emit different types of flame, or maybe does the temperature of the, of the heat have something to do with it? I don't know. Boy, oh boy. Look at the way that fire is glowing, how you're All right. pushing it around with the stick. I'm surprised the stick isn't catching on fire. It sure is. Oh, I got a flame. 
Yeah, you got a flame right there. Hmm. Ooh, it's hot. I can feel it cooking my legs. Maybe we ought to um, get some type of, for the next fire, we could get some, maybe something to roast over the fire. Maybe we can get a big grate from one of those handy dandy hardware stores and we can put the grate right over the fire pit and we can cook stuff and I can add a couple bricks to each corner and maybe make the fire pit stand a little taller. Man, something's pissed. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. Like, is it a raccoon, maybe? I hope they're not planning to attack us. And they're like, come on, everybody, they're by the fire. <laughs> Those humans. Everybody gather around, we're attacking. Bring all your twigs and leaves and anything sharp. And make sure your spray bladder is filled with some toxic thing you spray out of your butt. I wonder if every species can spray things out of their butt. I mean, they say that the anus and the lips are made of the same type of muscle with basically where a tube or a worm with some appendages that have grown off of us over the years. From lips to anus, we're just one long tube. And I guess over time we grew a skull, arms and legs to make it easier to travel. Maybe, just maybe, mankind evolved from the worm. Or maybe we just are worms? I don't know. You're trying to put the fire out and you started a whole new one. Just poking around. I wasn't trying to put it out. I was just trying to spread the stuff. I know. I'm just playing. It's good though because all that stuff that wasn't burning is now burning. Right, burning. Well... We gotta make sure everything burns because at the end of the night, we have to be able to go to sleep without a big fire starting. I'm gonna start a show called Fireside Chat. Really? I talked to Mike about it. Yeah, we have a fire, right? We sit around and burn stuff in the fire and we choose one topic per episode. 30 minute episode, one hour episode, however, th at least 30 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour. It doesn't have to be a total, but no more than one hour, like 57 minutes, tops. And we record that hour and we, and we stick on topic to one topic per hour. And we have like 15 topics. We discuss all of them, just sitting around the fire, talking, drinking, eating, burning stuff, whatever. And then, uh, upload that as a reality show. People will watch that. Called Fireside Chat or Fire Pit. I, mean, I think it depends on what y'all talk about. Well, we'll pick a topic. We can sit and make come up a, with a list of topics from everybody's ideas and discuss them, talk about them. We just start on the topic. Season 1, Episode 1, Fireside Chat. The Department of Education. Or gas prices. Or dealing with co-workers. Or, and we're all tell stories about co-workers. <clears throat> Things that people can relate to, you know. The price of eggs and milk going up. Um, or the cost of living on the rise. Or... Single parenting, or renting a house, 
the cost of bill, you know, just all kinds of different stuff. Dad beat dad. Yeah. Or how to buy a car and get the good price. Yeah, deadbeat dads. Narcissism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Who could be the star of that show? Yeah, we'd all be talking over each other. <laughs> Without remorse. What the hell's burning in there? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you, that log is still there. That log has been there for a while now. Mm -hmm. That's the second fire it's been through, and it's still, still burning, still hot. It's a good centerpiece. It looks hot. I bet it's carrying a lot of heat. We could have a different <clears throat> log per episode, or a featured log like this log for a couple of episodes. That way, the fans can get to know that log and watch it be burned. And I guess that's probably the purpose of each log. Each log born with a purpose to be burned in a fire. And not all fires get to be on a TV show. So, at least this log, or these logs, will have been witnessed. They're, they're burning. Wow. Ah, so that's probably going to be a part of everything that's get burned on the show. Everything that gets burned on the show is going to be, um, their final moments will be witnessed. They'll be tossed into the fire and slowly they'll either melt or burn and be turned to ashes and smoke. Some of every item will turn to ash and some will go up in smoke. Some of it will. Pretty cool that we get to experience all those things for all those things. <laughs> what? You just gonna sit there and tape that? Yeah, tape it. I'm, re I'm no, recording, recording it. Whatever. Yeah, tape it. Yeah, I haven't old. used taping in a while. <laughs> you mean like videotape, like VCR? Or 8 yep. millimeter, putting it on some film. I'm not filming it, and I'm not taping it. I'm recording it. Yeah. Man, you did nice. Look at that. That's just poking around. Look at it. It's just ignited. It was like nothing. It was just sitting there smoldering. I guess that's how forest fires start right there people think their fires out they don't poke around it and make sure get, they get to air to the all the stuff that hasn't burned because that's what you're doing you know there's stuff down there that can't burn because it's got no air mm -hmm. giving it the flame letting the flame burn it my hands are getting itchy Something's more making my allergies. I think it's after 11 o'clock right now. Mm -hmm. Monday. Today's Monday, January 23rd, 2023. 20, January 23rd, 2023. In the year of somebody's Lord. 2023 years since when? What? It's the year 23. It's the year 2023. Yeah? Since what? What is this? 2000, uh, what happened before 2023? I wonder what year it was before they started again at zero. Like, what was the year at the time when they were like, oh, all right, everybody, we're restarting the whole count. So you can throw out all of your old calendars, <laughs> all of them. We're going with a whole new 
way of timekeeping. So get rid of your whatever time method and forget all those dates and the months and whatever they called them. They probably called them. How many, I wonder how many days in a week there were before the new calendar system. I wonder what year it was before it was one. I wonder in the year one, did they call it one or was it 0 0.1? Like the very first day was January 1st, New Year's Day. January 1st, right? Zero. January 1st, one? Or was it January 1st, zero? It had to be year one. And then at the end of that year, it became year two. So it was probably January 111. The first new year was 111. That's the shirt I want. I want a 111 shirt. Let's start over again. But then if we started over again, we'd have to relive 2021 and 2022 all over again. And that was a whole fiasco. Yeah, we would also have to relive a whole bunch of years all over again that we don't want to live. That's if we could live to be 2,023 years of age. Like starting over one, one, one. If I could start over, I probably would do things the same. There are a couple of moments I might change. But overall, I appreciate all the lessons that I've learned in life, and I don't think I would really want to change anything because it's all been so much fun and such an experience. Man, it's hot. Still real hot. See, I could cook, I could slow cook some food right over this with a nice open grate over it. But if I did cook anything, it would probably be a lot of vegetables. So it's 123.23. I'm trying to take apart that log to get some of the dead burn stuff off of it. Okay. Yep. Everything is in this world built upon a pile of ashes and decay. It's pretty interesting. I wonder how many feet the earth has grown upward over the centuries or eons that it has all been built upon rotting things. I wonder how high up. Hmm. What year do you think it was? Will you look that up on Google? See what what, what year was it before one one one? Before the new calendar, what was the year? What do you what? Before we started the new calendar on January first, one, what was the year before that? Like what year were they at when they restarted everything? They had to be keeping track of time. Oh, shit. What year was it? Because they just call it BC, like 50 BC. That's going backwards. But they had to have reached some positive number before they started over and started to, and converted them to negative numbers. Like everything before 111 is a negative 1 or 2 BC before calend the new calendar. Will you look that up on Google and see what the year was? I don't even know how to look that up. I don't even know what you're talking about. Like, how do you Google that? Pull up Google on your phone, and I'll ask. 
Well, I don't know how to pull up Google. I've got just pull up. I've got Siri. Google. Oh, all right, pull up. Ask but here. Pull up Siri, and I'll ask Siri. Siri, don't listen to anyone but me. All right, t say Siri. What year was it before January first? One. What? What? What year was it before January first? One. I'm gonna have to type that shit. <laughs> You got your flashlight on the fire. Imagine if there were no flashlights or lights or electricity. Sometimes I wonder if the electricity and the wheel were good for mankind or not. Maybe it was a hundred million something or a billion something or it was like... 5,000 something. Oh, see, I don't have Google. I have it as in, like, I don't think I can talk to Google. You can go to the internet on Safari right. and go to google.com and then type into the search engine what year was it before 111? Before 111, maybe it was like 10 million and something. Man, those embers are just glowing and pulsing. It looks so alive. Wait, what, what, what year was it? Before the year 111. And how many times has the calendar started over? How many times before 111? Has the calendar been restarted? I wonder, like, do we really know the truth about our history and of this world? How old it really is? It says AD 1 or 1 CE was the... I can't even read that word right now. There. AD 1 or 1 CE was the epic year for the Anno Domini, something of the common era, CE and the first millennium end of, well, well that's not, that's just, that just doesn't make any sense to me. I'll ask Google later on tonight. Sound like a moped. Wow. See, riding through a neighborhood after 11 o'clock at night, making all that noise. Yeah, that's fucking That's up. noise pollution. That's, that's disturbing the peace. And I think we've, part of our thing that we're supposed to be able to have here in the United States of the United States, especially here in Florida, is Oops. peace. Uh oh, are you starting a runaway fire? Uh oh, runaway fire. It's not registering on the camera, so I'm sure we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. There's no danger to be seen here. I think they could convert all the cars to noiseless, like how the my Toyota Prius is. It's very quiet. You got that right. I don't even know if it's on half the time. <laughs> <laughs> but it does make a noise when it backs up so that if people don't accidentally get runned over. You're a hot poker. Yeah. A hot poker is definitely one of the most important parts of a fire. Stoking it. You gotta stoke the fire to make it burn hot. Well, there you go. You started up another fire. And see here, poking around and simmering ashes. 
lets a flame burst up out of the nowhere, especially when you start hitting on parts of it that haven't been burned. What was that noise all about? <laughs> See, I've always been inquisitive by nature. Asked questions, wanted to know things. Uh-oh. Yeah. What was all that whoop, 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 whoop? <laughs> That's the police. Yeah. Duh. You should know that sound. Yeah. Yeah, they like to accuse me of driving. Oh, God. And remember, folks, I am not employed as a driver or operator of a vehicle. Period. That's, that's the statute or code or whatever. To a driver is one who is employed as a driver or operator of a vehicle. I'm not that. I'm also not Mr. Farnham. Okay. All right. I'm just saying. I still want to know what year it was. At the time, they were like changing everything to when they changed the year to 111. I'm getting a t-shirt. What year was it before 111? Because there was no concept of, of BC at the time. Or AD. They just start... At some point, they started over. I wonder if they started over on 111, actually. Or did they retroactively go back to a certain time and say, that was 111. And now it's the year 2010. Or 100. Maybe they started at 100. And printed a new calendar. And they went back a hundred years and they're like, that's one, one, one. That's where we're starting from. Maybe I ought to look up the history of, is it called, is today's calendar, current calendar called the Gregorian calendar? That's, ask. Sounds right. Will you ask Siri that? Do we currently, what is the Gregorian cal calendar? Hey Siri. Hmm? What is a Gregorian calendar? Here's some information. This bitch wants me to read. Okay. We're all waiting. I don't have my glasses. And I, oh, here, I'll read my it. My eyeballs are burning. <clears throat> the Gregorian calendar is the calendar used in most, part, most parts of the world. It was introduced in October 1582 by Pope Gregory VIII as a modification of and replacement for the Julian calendar. Here you go. Thank you. What is that? A Gregorian? Yeah, named after Gregory the Eighth. In 1582, they started it. So they retroactively called all the, went all the way back to 111, 1582 years later. They just. I wonder what year it was in 1581. Before they decided to make it 1582. What was the real year of 1581? Will you look that up? Oh my god, Ron. I when was the War of 1812? Don't you just want to sit and... I'm sitting. Have a fire? We've been doing that, but now... Look, this is a fireside chat. I don't want to discuss what we're discussing. Well, I do. I. That's just not the point of me. What do you smoking. want to discuss? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, that's the point of smoking. Like I said, I've always been a knowledge seeker, especially something like as close to the. That makes me dumb. Why, why would I want to truth talk about school as stuff as possible? After smoking shit. That's not school stuff. That is cool. Where, where ha, who the hell talks about that? Besides the teacher. I guess just me. Just you. I think you get more inquisitive with studies the more you smoke.
you also sound grumpy. Really? Me? I don't know. I'm just not saying anything grumpy. I'm just asking some questions. Well, I know that. That's not the part. You kind of sound grumpy. I sound grumpy? Right now, just when you just said that, that was grumpy. That was grumpily asking if you sound grumpy. <laughs> okay. You're going to shit yourself when you do hear me grumpy and pissed off and yelling and screaming. You're going to be like, what the fuck? She wasn't kidding. Well, then I'm going to put some diapers on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you probably should. And then you can go stand, make a, do a handstand and have Laurie tape it for you. <laughs> yeah, really. What was that all about? Because, shit. I... Were they having the talent show auditions? Yeah, I guess. I, the... But not the club. I think it was for her stuff. Oh. Because I told you, Rose knew nothing about it. Oh. She said, I don't know why there was a guy in diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Just another average day at the bar. <laughs> Anything goes. You can wear anything outside now Now that COVID has gone through everywhere. Doesn't matter what you wear in public. Not in 2023, anyway. Wonder what they were wearing in 1581. Ugly clothes. Hot, too. You know, they didn't have any air conditioning. Yeah, so they were stinky, wore ugly, like, pieces of, clo like, pieces of cloth for clothing and... I'd rather be cold and wrapped up than hot and unable to sleep in oh, a stuffy, yeah. moldy environment. That's well, probably, I mean, if you're too cold, you, it's hard to sleep, too, as you know. If they hadn't invented air conditioning, I don't think no one, anyone would have ever moved to Florida or Georgia. Or Louisiana. And probably parts of South Carolina, depending on the time of year. Mm. <sighs> I moved, my family and I moved from New York to Florida in 1972. And we went back to New York every summer just because it's so hot in Florida. Well, whoever watches this video, just uh, do some research and find out what year it was really in 1581, since the Gregorian calendar came out in 1582 and replaced the Julian calendar. It had to be some other date at that time. Is your phone ringing? No. It's very interesting about the calendars because huh. we don't know time. I think it's just the uh, flame bouncing so. off my phone. Man, it's hot. Boy, that, that pit is hot. You know what? Ask Siri what year the Julian calendar went up to. Hey, Siri. What year did the Julian calendar go through? Sorry. Here's what I found. Seventeen fifty two calendar change, colonial records and topics, Julian calendar, Wikipedia. Here we go. Proposed by Roman consul Julius Caesar. So the Julian calendar. History and def difference from Gregorian calendar. Let's see. Oh, you got to put your code in. Oh. Julian calendar. Also called old style calendar dating system established by Julius Caesar as a reform of the Roman Republican calendar. Interesting. By the 40s BC, the Roman civic calendar was 
three months ahead of the solar calendar. Caesar advised by the Alexandrian astrom astronomer Sosigenes introduced the Egyptian solar calendar, taking the length of the solar year as 365 and a quarter days. This year was divided into 12 months, all of which had either 30 or 31 days, except February, which contained 28 days in common, 365 day years, and 29 in every fourth year, a leap year of 366 days, leap years, repeated February 23rd, there was no February 29th in the Julian calendar. To align the civic and solar calendar, Caesar added days to be to 46 BCE, so that it contained 445 days because of misunderstandings. Oh, because of misunderstandings, the calendar was not established in smooth operation until 8 CE. Interesting. Here you go. Well, my phone's going to die soon, so there's more to that whole calendar business. All right, this has been a fireside chat. Thanks for tuning in to this first episode of Fireside Chats. And tonight's topic was, what was the year before 111? What year was it? How long had we been counting time? Good night, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the fire.